Bonjour mes amis, hi guys. Today, once again, thanks to Backwatch Department here in uh, Hong Kong, who always source the coolest watches, uh, mainly from Switzerland and Germany, from young brands, independent uh, brands, and uh, also more established uh, brands. We discover with a lot of pleasure a fairly young brand from uh, Lausanne in uh, Switzerland. This is uh, Timeless. Uh, the name of the brand, I think, is not very original in our business. Uh, and to find it on the to find the website, you'll have to type probably Timeless HMS, which is the name of uh, this model. And that will be your first uh, search result. Otherwise, you might go through a couple of uh, other watch dealer websites to uh, find it. Anyway, the brand founded, uh, well, at least the first watch came out uh, about two, three years ago. And uh, at its helm is a designer, uh, Mael Oberkampf. And the uh, ID, as you can see, is a bit of a steampunk look. Uh, we had uh, actually one of that uh, kind of watches uh, with a tourbillon not long ago, uh, steampunk look. I think here a bit more accessible in the, the look. It's more modernized uh, with a strong nautical uh, theme, uh, but, but still really eye-catching and... Uh, I think would please pretty much anyone and there's uh, so many design details and I think this one is a great evolution from the first watch that came out uh, from uh, th this brand which had a couple of I think design unpleasant uh, nesses uh, I would say uh, namely the name of the brand was on a big plaque on the side here and the date had a word saying date underneath. I think those were the two biggest uh, culprits here. Uh, much more modest uh, branding, which uh, gives more space to the to the dial. And there's just a lot going on. Um, but at the same time, together, it works really well. A lot of interesting things to uh, discover on this timeless HMS, which you can discover, yes, on Backwatch Department. And you can discover it on the website. I will put the two links in the description. Uh, of course, there are many different colors, but I think we have maybe the two most interesting ones uh, between the two. Uh, I'm not sure which one, uh, which one I like. I kind of like this uh, rose gold here, kind of like this one. And uh, obviously the main feature uh, perhaps is the um, guilloche. Uh, it, it is CNC guilloche. So the price point is uh, 1450 Swiss francs so at that point you cannot have uh, the the real uh, guilloche for comparison I have on my wrist uh, a real guilloche uh, from a made with a 19th century uh, machine this is from a uh, Garrick in the UK with a more salmon type of uh, color and you can see the the depth of uh, of the result and of course how much more customization is uh, is possible. Also, a nautical team, by the way, on this uh, watch, which is the S5, if you want to know, by Garrick, with a total in-house movement, 39 millimeter, really great. Uh, here, there, there you go. You have the, the same pattern on both watches, sort of a twisting uh, pattern with the losange figure but it's really well made, really uh, gives a great impression. And um, yeah, you might tell me every week I see a new brand coming up with a uh, guilloche dials. It seems to be very popular uh, and indeed. And so real guilloche will run you a uh, three to 4,000 uh, Swiss francs, the, even more, it depends on uh, how much more details, uh, different sections you want on the dial. Here you have uh, just a, a simple, similar pattern i mean not simple i think it's just uh, perfectly adapted to uh, to this watch and it looks really really good uh, so other uh, things that will catch your eye at the, the center you have uh, those uh, two screws holding uh, a sort of a, a sort of bridge underneath which you see a sort of wheel which is actually coupled with the uh, our hand so it doesn't run you know annoyingly quick uh, but it will be at a different position at different times of the day which i think is uh, it is nice it's always something extra fun on this watch which which has a lot of uh, fun things uh, already 
uh, going on. So you see it's color coded to the, to the hands and will run at the same pace at the, as the hour hand, which has a blasted finish, uh, sort of rose gold finish. And an uh, in interesting pattern in the center, which I don't know about you, but reminds me of uh, safety razors. And, uh, and I read a review of this watch and uh, the, the writer had the same uh, impression. So I guess it's not ju just me. Everybody has the same, same impression. And I think to keep things simple and to match this sort of uh, polished uh, and satinated bridge, uh, the second hand is very simple and uh, works well with the, the numerals on this watch. I can't blame uh, the designer for not going crazy on the second hand uh, as well. And all is stopped there by a little uh, black cabuchon, I would call that, which uh, works well with the nameplate. And this uh, playful date, um, I was reading the review of this watch on a worn and wound, and uh, the writer there said it was uh, unnecessary. What, what, what do you mean? You, you prefer a little bizarre little hole like on most watches, which most people uh, dislike. I think here you have something playful, a bit like a, like a little bowling, uh, like, a, like a little uh, little ball, like a billiard ball, uh, strange little aperture. I, I almost get the feeling that the date is slightly off center, slightly to the right, uh, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, it's just me, but a nice color coding uh, on the date. Uh, wheel there with the with the dial uh, itself and you have the name of the, the model the HMS which comes and uh, and then disappears I think I'm really playful really original I mean yeah as I said there's a lot going on but everything gives a, a great impression all to all together now the uh, the the chaptering uh, notice the the font used and sort of the interruption uh, there. I like the, the, the tree in particular, the, the eight as well. And uh, the minute track also really well integrated into the, the overall design. So uh, really, I think my Oberkampf, the designer, had a, a lot of fun designing this. And you will notice the minute track matches the uh, concave sort of porthole look of the, the bezel, which is bead blasted while the side of the case is uh, is brushed. Quick stop here by the uh, crown, which no, is not in plastic. Uh, I think it's PVD coating with again, this uh, nautical uh, wheel uh, theme repeated and a bit of the, uh, the rose gold plating uh, color. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't mind it. it. It does look a bit like uh, shiny, like plastic, uh, but, but it isn't, I think it's in steel. The lugs also contribute to the great look of this watch. And, and if you're wondering, no, they, it's not like straight lugs. Uh, you, they are a regular uh, uh, strap uh, pins here. You remove them the, the regular way, but they are angled actually. Uh, they, four, they are four, 22 millimeters. So a 22 millimeter strap should work, and I don't really know if it's needed to have the, um, the, the, the those pins angled, um, but um, they they are angled. I had a I had a look to see how the watches would look on a on a different strap and how easy it was to remove it, because I'm not too crazy about this type of look for the strap. So I think you can try um, a parachute strap, which I like a lot, or even a NATO. Um, maybe tying it up as a single pass. Uh, there's nothing to uh, to really show uh, at the back, so it, it's okay to cover it with a parachute, parachute strap, for example, or just try your own uh, strap. I think these colors can go with a, a lot of different things, even black if you want to uh, uh, spice up a bit uh, or make uh, make the dial make the overall look uh, a, a little bit more uh, subdued, uh, perhaps. So bead blasted, interesting lugs, and uh, they are uh, apparently um, and, uh, screwed in to the screwed to the to the case, uh, held by a screw, which is a nice way to to do it. And you see that a rose gold plated uh, steel surround, also adding a bit of playfulness. So there's so much going on with this this watch. It's not a 
easy construction. So I think the the, the price is uh, f- reflects quite fairly the uh, the development, the design, and the different details uh, on this watch. You have a plaque on the s- uh, or plaque on the on the side. Uh, interesting how how it looks. Looks a bit like uh, what you would find on a on a boat, maybe on, on the cockpit. And uh, at the back, yeah, it's an automatic. So the movement. Uh, you know, now that, now that the Swatch Group has decided not to share its uh, ET anymore, well, uh, it's given uh, other brands an incentive to uh, develop uh, their, their own. So this one is the uh, STP uh, clone of the ETA 2824, STP uh, 1-11. STP is owned by the Fossil Group, big group of, uh, of watches. Uh, adds one joule compared to the ETA and has uh, two more hours of power reserve, uh, or a bit more. It's about 44 hours of power reserve. And it's an automatic movement, 50 hours of power reserve, so fairly, fairly uh, sporty uh, type of uh, of watch. I really like this color uh, a bit more. I really love this type of uh, of green. I'm in a pretty strong green kick at the the moment. Uh, it's not really green. It's like gray green uh, in between. And uh, yeah, on the time grapher, and uh, just looking at the time from one day to the next, uh, both seem to run uh, run a bit quick. Uh, doesn't seem to be as much adjustment uh, at this uh, price point on uh, these uh, STP movements as uh, you might find on um, on, a, on an ETA uh, or, or a Celita. So just be uh, mindful of it. Probably very easy to uh, regulate uh, if you ever service uh, the, the watch. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's a bit uh, everything. I really like the, the look of the, the pieces. In terms of the dimensions, 41.5 by uh, 13 with a beautiful uh, sapphire uh, that has uh, apparently some AR coating. Let's try to catch it. I'm not sure it's that evident. Uh, look to log here, if you count, uh, at, the, at these points is, uh, is about 50. The watch is a 101 gram, so it, it feels substantial, but it's not heavy. And as I said, 20 millimeter uh, lug width, and you can see that the spring bar is uh, slightly angled. You can see uh, underneath, and yes, you get a deploy and clasp. I can't try it because these are brand new, so I can't really uh, attest to how, how good it is. Usually, I don't like these. I prefer a simple tank buckle. Uh, but here I have different sort of uh, of clasp and it's uh, it's working well. Uh, there you go with two uh, minder loops. Fair, fairly uh, s- supple, feels quite good. And uh, yeah, on on the wrist, let's put it on my uh, left wrist. It will. Uh, have uh, this kind of look so no problem for me especially with the design of these lugs to wear the 41.5 uh, millimeter diameter case let's give ourselves a bit more uh, room here and this is the uh, the effect on the wrist i think it's not the kind of watch with all the design that you want would want to have uh, smaller than this so the, the look is a bit uh, it's quite modern it's quite a uh, uh, I- impressive, eye-catching, and I think the, uh, to me the diameter is perfectly adapted to this watch. And my wrist is a uh, 17 centimeter. For your reference, I really like uh, the, this piece. And I think at the price point, around 1500 US, you you really get uh, something really that looks not like nothing else. Uh, I think they didn't do go overboard on the steampunk kind of look. It's still very wearable, still very modern and uh, as i was mentioning the uh, fossil group for the the movement <laughs> i actually just found back in my drawer a watch that i was wearing for years when i was in uh, in japan it's a uh, it's a fossil uh, and it was a quartz and it needs a battery unfortunately and uh, the pusher here used to uh, switch the direction Th- these uh, spheres were just constantly running vertically and then you push and they would run horizontally <laughs> And back then, that's what I was wearing. Um, still kind of like it. Still kind of cool. So there you go. Uh, timeless 
HMS, uh, thanks again to our Backwatch department for sharing these. So if you're in the uh, Asian uh, Asia um, era, you can uh, contact them if you're interested to purchase one of these. And uh, for more details, you can check out the website of uh, Timeless. So um, yeah, big congratulations to uh, Mile for creating uh, these. It's uh, it's unusual and it's immediately eye-catching and uh, really hard to uh, to resist uh, i have to say thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah if you like these watches give the video a little uh, like subscribe if you want to see the uh, more interesting finds um, on this uh, on this channel and um, i'll speak to you in the next one bye bye